So an optional thing that you can do, especially if you're doing max distance work, is uh, to stabilize your spine or your lower back. Um, and one way to do that is holding your breath. And this is purely optional. It's just some people find that it works, some people don't. Sometimes you see people uh, who are really pushing hard, holding their breath. And um, yeah, what it does is it stabilizes your lower back from flexing too much and power leaking um, again. So it, it uh, keeps the spine straight, so all the force goes forwards. Now, how does it do that? When you take a deep breath in, your lungs expand and your chest expands and it applies pressure to your internal organs and they get compressed and also your diaphragm pushes down as well, it pulls down as it kind of expands your lungs, it pulls downwards and that action compresses against your lower back and it makes it harder for your lower back to move around. Um, you'll notice that there are uh, power lifters that do this. So, you know, they're lifting a really big heavy weight on their back. Um, they'll have the, like on a squat rack, they'll have a, a belt to kind of also keep that uh, contracted and their abs will be completely tight and you'll see them just go and hold it, squat down and breathe out when they push up. Now, uh, it's for the same reason. It's to stop any flexing and sort of like the hips going backwards. We want the same thing. We want to be completely stable. So taking a deep breath is going to really help that, uh, help you do that. So when you're ready to go with the combination of all the other things, sort of rocking back on the heels and all the other bits and pieces we've said, but when you're about to go, you can take a deep breath and breathe out on the landing. Um, you can hold it for a little bit on the landing because it also is going to help stabilize uh, when you land.